we're just gonna draw some normal eyes now that's a new mistake right there okay so in the superhero designing world which I'm not a part of for someone to look like a superhero you have to give them the superhero eyes just make them angry yes we're just gonna make him really huge so the Falcons can't really pick him up right and then some really huge um, biceps of course that's what a superhero needs tiny arms is what I'm kind of going for okay so let's make a fist okay wait one two three four five six yeah so this is the important part here okay so um we just don't want to make him look like a normal human being with a bird costume or a bird head that we want him to have more bird parts right so what's better than giving him bird legs right second most thing important in a superhero his underwear of course which totally beats the point of um calling it underwear you know next superhero is um it's called dolphin Okay, so I'm just gonna draw a really nice um, shape so that it can look very realistic. We're just gonna give him a really nice beak. That beak looked very wrong. We're just gonna give him a really tiny and nice beak. Right? Why can't I draw beaks? I'm sorry. Okay, so now it's missing something and that is his eyes. So let's draw some eyes. No, and that's wrong. If you did that, shame on you. What I mean to say here is if a hero doesn't have eyes like this, is he even a hero? Here to here. And now that is what this is all about. It's all about realism here, right? We don't do not support unrealistic standards. Our next superhero is Bouncing Man. Just give him really angry eyes and just give him a neck, which is very important for life. Now for the most important part, how does he bounce? Does he have spring on his feet? No. To make this look very realistic, I'm just I'm just gonna make him really thick. Just like that. The next superhero name is The Tick. And now I feel pretty confident in my superhero designing skills, so I'm just go I'm gonna do a lot of research and you know i'm just gonna do everything that it takes to make this piece so um um this might take me years you know Okay, 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 so after at least five years um, of research, going to France, um, going to other countries to learn some art and learn some tips from the masters, I think I'm finally done. Okay, three, two, one. I am so proud, I guess, like, I, I really hope you guys liked it and about this, okay, so that, that's a tattoo. That's enough superheroes we're gonna go to some pokemons now so we're gonna look at some pokemon names that are kind of weird we're just gonna draw whatever comes to our mind so the first name is licky licky first thing that comes to my mind when i hear licky licky is a tongue because tongues lick this my tongue looks like a mango by licky licky i remember a pokemon named licky tongue right his tongue is always popping out so to make this look more original we're gonna have the tongue open its mouth and the pokemon coming from the tongue <laughs> really cute eyes so we're just gonna give him really cute eyes get a razor our first superhero is fog falcon so now we're gonna look at it for the first time apparently it's not fog falcon it's flick falcon let's do this okay scroll down the moment of truth but this is fog falcon wow 
this this doesn't look like a superhero like wait a minute wait a minute you gotta have a superhero eye patch and a few abs and a superhero underwear i don't see any of it get out of here the next one is bouncing boy right this is just you know unrealistic this gives a wrong message to people that you have to look like this to be able to bounce like a superhero okay dc you messed up here i'm sorry the next superhero is um dolphin what <laughs> what this is dolphin come on like you know this is just too realistic come on like okay so the next superhero is the tick <laughs> Now it's time for the Pokemon. Okay, so we did one Pokemon. The Pokemon was Licky Licky. Okay, so it's the evolved version of Lickitung, right? Okay, I noticed something weird and I can't unsee this. That is supposed to be his tongue, right? But look at it like it's his beak. Now he looks like a duck. Now you can't unsee this, I'm sorry. Okay, so that's done, I guess, you know? I hope you enjoyed. Um, so let me know if you want a part two.